Mike, the, uh, the street gets tested again this week. How uh, tough do you think the challenge of Brisbane on their own patches? Oh, I mean, I think they're they're a decent side, and you know that's kind of uh, shown by where they're sitting in the table at the moment. But um, I guess for us, we're we're full of confidence, and obviously, like you said, we're we're looking to extend our streak um, beyond six to seven, and I think that would uh, that would be a record, and that would be something to be um, something to aspire to. So um, yeah, we're going there full of confidence, and um, you know, thinking that we're we're going to get the win. So you actually discussed it amongst the players, just keep it going, or do you try and block it out? How do you approach the run that you're on? Not really. I think you know we're winning at, at the moment, and that's just it becomes a bit of a habit, I think. And um, I think we're playing great football. We've we've worked so hard in the off season to to get to where we are right now, and we just want to keep that going. Um, Arnie said yesterday that he still thinks there's heaps of improvement left in you. Where do you think you guys can still improve? Um, look, I think just generally in general play, I think we've we've shown that we can be so clinical and so effective going forward. I just think um, there's times when we need to maintain control of the game and we probably give op uh, opponents an opportunity to get back in the game. And that's somewhere I think we need to um, to look at and, and improve upon. But um, that's, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit of a luxury to be able to look at that and say that's something that we can do for ourselves. Um, and as long as we are doing our jobs, I think that will kind of fall into place. Brisbane, one of your former clubs, has it always had something a little bit extra for you? Yeah, of course, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really change anything in terms of the way I look at the game or anything, but it's, it's obviously going to be a special day for me to, to play against my, my former club, which is always a, a nice thing for a player, but also to play in front of my friends and family, which is um, something I don't really get to do too often anymore, and um, I'm really looking forward to that. You've had a fair journey since you left Brisbane, Holland and couple of clubs here. How do you reflect on, on the way that it all started for you at the Royal? I've got, I've got a fantastic memories of my time at the Royal. That was where I started, obviously, and um, there, there are great memories attached to the three years I spent there, but um, I'm a Sydney FC player now, and that, so I can't really bring any sentiment into the game on the weekend. It's, I'm all about playing for Sydney FC, and um, you know, it doesn't make me feel good if, if Brisbane Royal win a game and we lose. You know, so. I've got a 100% commitment to Sydney FC and um, I really want to win the title this year with us. Do you still look at the lessons that you learned there as a youngster coming through as being pivotal to the way you play now? Definitely, yeah, 100%. I think the first few years of a player's career, professional career, are, are imperative to the, to the rest of it. And, um, you know, that the three years I spent there propelled me to, to do the things that um, I've been lucky enough to do in the game and um, I'm incredibly grateful for my time there. How have you found moving here to Sydney and, and also playing under Arnie with the boys here? Yeah, good. You know, it's, it's, it was obviously another big big move. I've moved, uh, I've lived in five, five different cities in five years, so that's a bit of a, bit of a challenge in itself. Um, but settled really quickly here in Sydney and especially at the club, they, they made everything so easy for me. Um, and Arnie is obviously a, a fantastic man manager and a, and a fantastic coach. His record speaks for itself in that, in that respect. So. I've really enjoyed um, working under him, and I think, you know, the the, the squad sort of how how happy everyone is, and, and our togetherness is really showing in the park at the moment. What, like, what's it like though? There's there's so much competition for sports. You're doing so well, but there's players like Bernie Abeni, who's not even in the match day squad, mm. and, and there's some great players on the bench. How does that sort of create a, a dynamic in the squad? Yeah, I think look, it it goes from player to player. It can it can change from squad to squad and player to player, but. Um, Having that kind of that kind of situation where you have such a talented player, or even the players that, that aren't mentioned that aren't in the uh, match day squad, it kind of it, it is conducive to a really competitive environment, and and that leads to a, a a successful team as long as as long as the players can keep their heads and 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 keep working hard. And, and luckily enough for us, players like Bernie, who who in any other A League squad would start at the moment, um, he's still going out every day. He's not being a negative influence, and he's working hard. And that's the most important thing for us right now. Well, the stats on Sydney are quite interesting. You're number one in the league for goals, obviously, and shots on target and all those sorts of things. But you're bottom of the league for pass completion and passes. What does that say about your style? I didn't know. I wasn't aware of that stat, to be honest, because I think it's, I mean, it's irrelevant, really, in, in a way, because I think that shows that we're so lethal with what, with what we actually do. I mean, it's, it's all well and good having 
a high completion rate or a high amount of passes if you're passing from centre back to centre back. But I think what we've shown is um, we've got a really clear way of playing in terms of we win the ball and we attack, and we've been lethal when we're doing that. So I'm not too fast on stats like pass completions. It's more about wins and goals scored, and I think we're excelling at that at the moment. Just finally, there was a um, picture going back to your time at Brisbane of your hairstyle from the very early days there, going around on social media a few weeks ago. It's changed a fair bit since then, hasn't it? It has. It has. Thankfully, there was some um, questionable things going around in, in 07, but um, I'm not proud of it, but um, these are the things that we have to move on from. So, um, yeah, I've got plenty of stick for that, but it was fair. You sorted it out now.